please tell me something about your country. Our country, our people have done in the past almost about a thousand years was a very strong, deep-rooted spiritual practice, never about building a nation. And until the Chinese invasion of Tibet, we had been pushed to take this kind of political campaign today. Although we have no guns, most of the Western countries, they don't find it beneficial for them to support us because they have more benefit by doing business with China. Even if they don't have a business, they would like to keep a good relationship with China than supporting us, which is just six million Tibetans. Though people of the world, individually like us, people like the Dalai Lama, we are a very small population. It's a huge area, but like Siberia is uninhabitable. Our physical strength is very limited compared to China's. And there too, China has very effectively used uh, propaganda over all these 60 years. You know, 1.3 billion people, all of them have been educated that yeah. Tibet has always been a part of China. So our struggle for freedom is not just the government, now we have to educate 1.3 billion Chinese. So it becomes almost unwinnable kind of a game. Even though tomorrow, if China becomes democracy, how are we going to tell the Chinese people that what you have been educated about Tibet is not true? When we see the Chinese red flag, we know our people will resist. But when market economy starts, then we saw that this can be homogenizing, like how it happened in Mongolia. Part of the, uh, what is called outer Mongolia is now free and democracy. But the other Mongolia, the smaller one, southern Mongolia, is under China. Mm -hmm. And that has been homogenized. Mm -hmm. So there are true Mongolians who understand their own religion, history, culture, language. The numbers are very small. It is much stronger in Tibet. Awareness and resistance in Tibet is much stronger. In 2008, when the uprising happened, and if somebody is thrown rock at a police, there will be 20 people coming and standing with the person. So nobody knows, the police wouldn't know who is the person. And you would say, no, we don't know.